okay, okay, okay. Hello, hello, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well on this April Fool's Day. It's April 1st. Hope everyone is doing okay in this day. I hope nobody fall for any prank today or in un or anything. <coughs> because today is a day of pranks and stuff, so you better be careful not to believe everything you see, at least for today. Okay? So today, I don't have anything planned for myself for every fourth day, I'm not very good at that, so don't worry for me. I'm not going to, sp to like do anything scary or anything that may give someone a heart attack or something, I don't know, don't worry. <coughs> uh, so uh, today we're going to start Lost Boat 5.2. Yeah, reading it and stuff. And yeah, pretty much that. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -mm. okay. Let me. Pick up some. Th uh, let me t finish checking on everything that everything is in order and stuff, which I think it is. But uh, best to double check, just in case. <coughs> okay. Okay. Alright, since that uh, everything is okay, I think, maybe, yeah, okay. Everything is good to go. I think the audio is also okay. So let's just switch into the game. And of course, as you can hear by the audio, I'm using the emulator for this, because I also want to hear the soundtrack while reading this. So yeah, let's go ahead. I think it th I think I even have it up today too. But uh, let me double check just in case. Okay. Yeah, uh the login bonus, the not that, man. I wanted to close, damn it. Don't do that to me, will you? I wanted. I was clicking on close. In the heck, with that. Uh, okay. Let me get this. More of these. I'm on close, baby, because it's the one I'm lowest on. Uh, did I do all the weeklies? No. I need to do this thing, which can be done real quick. Uh. Okay. Let me check real quick on the d on data. I think I have everything downloaded, but uh, yeah, up to date, good. And of course, Roma is now on. Romulus Quirinus is now raid up. Not going to roll for him. Saving same course for the Requiem collab, which will be by the end of April, beginning of May, probably. So yeah, let's start Olympus then. Let's not wait any longer. <coughs> People have always turned their gaze skyward. In ancient times, they saw gods dwelling in the heavens. For many long years, the sky was sacred. Was a uh, was a sacred domain that remained ever beyond reach. <coughs> I need to get into reading about them. But then, at one point, we. Proper human history began to see untold possibility in the vast space beyond the sky. From then on, it was no longer a mystery to be feared, but a riddle to be solved. That's right. We will use every tool we can, our minds especially, to discover what makes you tick. We will never stop again, not until we have claimed the heavens for ourselves. We will turn our gaze skyward, and one day, we will bring down the gods. Mm. 
Yep, there it is. Beyond the great, the great pit. That's all impossible, right? An impossibly enormous structure flows on the other side of the vast ocean. The textures that covers the planet's surface. As seen from the main monitor of the stone border, currently soaring through the air. The structure appears to be a place inhabited by thousands, if not millions, of people. Is that a city? Sent by look, up in the sky. Yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah. That's big. Atop the sprawling city sits another enormous structure. Yep, and that's the tree. Above that, great mountains of translucent crystal loom even higher. And there, beyond the crystalline peaks, that's the tree, alright. Lies the very thing they've been searching for. The roots of cosmic fantasy stretching out into space. That's the tree of emptiness. That's the tree of emptiness we saw from Atlantis. Yep. But that's not the only thing that surprised me. I never would have dreamed that there could be a, such a massive hollow space underneath the Great Pit. It doesn't look subterranean either. It's more like an entirely different world. This is the true surface of the Earth. While it no doubt will appear to be the bowels of the Earth from upon Atlantis, it is in fact the true face of this Atlantic Lost Belt. Atlantis itself is mere camouflage. In proper human history, Greek mythology, the age of man was was ushered in. Okay, <coughs> was ushered in through two great wars known as Machia. But what is going on in this Lost Belt? How was it able to control this space to such a degree? How was it able to advance this far? It appears to operate in the same manner as the Chinese Lost Belt, in that it fully embraces its tree of emptiness. But the manner in which it does so is wholly opposite to the Chinese Lost Belts. While the Chinese Lost Belt hid its tree of emptiness completely, here it has been allowed to flourish to the greatest possible extent. At least that's what it looks like. That part down by the base must be the city. Yeah, it looks just like something you'd see in a science fiction novel. Is this still as impressive as the pictures of proper human history skyscrapers Eon showed me? I can't tell what the exact dimensions of the city are just from looking at it, but it's safe to say that uh, it's safe to say there are at least 10 million people living there, minimum. That's huge. 10 million people. So this is really it, huh? Yeah. Indeed, it would seem we, we truly have our work cut out for us. That of course is as true here in this fifth of the seven hells as it ever was. And as Da Vinci said before, we cannot blind ourselves to the cause of our actions, not even for a moment. That being said, how one reacts to such a cost depends entirely on the individual. And I, for one, am delighted by how you have all held on to your humanity in the face of such adversity. Computer room here, sorry to interrupt, but I just finished scanning our vicinity. And just like I expected, the atmosphere here is just chock full of magical energy. So this is the Age of Gods. The magical energy density is at least on par with our records of the seventh singularity, if not higher. Are you serious? But the certain singularity was in Mesopotamian, during proper human history's age of gods. And you're telling me this place exists in magical energy density? Ah, uh, something just forced its way into our comms line. It's not from the wandering sea, this is... Look, up ahead! The signal's coming from the colossal structure. Well then. Fear us. Praise us. For you gaze upon mighty Olympus. The name of this lost belt I rule, given in honor of our great ark that has crossed the ocean of space. Now prostrate yourselves and weep before me. For this grand throne of the gods, 
is not meant for the eyes of such insignificant specks as you. What's going on? This voice is so heavy. This pressure is immense and he's not even here in person. It's as powerful as a spell designed to attack the mind. Da Vinci, quick! Royce or Bounded fills out but before something happens to Plodak or, or Meunia. Got it! Now then. Between this immense pressure and this manner of speech, it looks like they're rolling out the biggest of big guns. If I'm not mistaken, this must be... My name is Zeus. Zeus, the king of the gods. I rule over this ancient ocean. I rule this grand interstellar city. I rule over all. I am king of the Atlantic Lost Belt. Yeah. Yep. Zeus? I was going to say one of the twelve Olympians, but no matter. He... he got ahead. This is unfortunately the worst of the possible scenarios I predicted. Of all the gods to come out and greet us. So that's the Zeus of this Lost Belt. I already had a good idea of, of this thanks to the Poseidon we saw in Atlantis, but... Indeed, this king of the gods... This is going too fast. May be very different from the one in proper human history. But deep down, they are fundamentally the same. The supreme being of Greek mythology, the winner of both Machia Wars, and the one who rules over the twelve Olympians. Not merely a divine spirit, but a genuine god who once existed right here on Earth. His deep ties to both the concrete and abstract planes mean that he is one of the phenomena shaping the very world itself. To put it another way, the king of the, uh, the gods of myth is, in a very real sense, the closest thing there is to a ruler of the entire planet. Then, does that mean he's like Skaxkari in the Scandinavian Lost Belt? Or Arjuna in the Indian Lost Belt? Unfortunately, no. This is a bit of a bigger deal, I suppose. The combat data we collected from Artemis and Poseidon alone speaks volumes. We were able to weaken Arjuna's divinity by attacking the faith he and they, uh, engendered. Yeah. But we definitely won't be able to do the same with these gods. Their system is fundamentally different. Their godly functionality is a core part of their being. Just look at the theos cleronomia if you need fruit. Their functionality is what makes them gods. Nothing can be done to alter that. And Zeus is the one who stands above all the others. Yeah. So what are you trying? So what are you two trying to say? That Zeus is more powerful than any other foe we face to date? Yeah. Pretty much. That can't possibly be true. Don't you remember how tough Arjuna was? He was a monster who absorbed every god in India. How could anything entire how could anything entire orders of magnitude more po more powerful than him even exist? If like Artemis and Poseidon, Zeus has continuously ruled over this planet since ancient times without changing his very nature, then he is, without a doubt, in a league of his own. For you see, the ancient dramatist Aeschylus once described Zeus as the omnipotent and omniscient god of justice, an omnipotent king of the gods. Yeah. Omnipotent, as in all powerful? Oh, come now, how can he possibly be omnipotent? Zeus is strong, yes, but he's known for being sneaky and lecherous. He's used to take an any. Hold up any old animal or person he came across and tossed them up into the sky as constellations. He also, um, Will's Thunderbolt said to be capable of incinerating the entire universe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that true, Captain? Come on, give it to us straight. You're a half-god of Poseidon's side, right? Just what the hell are the Olympic gods? Are they just like the myths say? Or are they something entirely different? Because if Zeus really does have the authority to destroy the whole universe... I don't know, okay? I mean, I can see that my father wasn't a machine. 
But if this love spell developed a long and entirely different talent than the one we know, then it wouldn't surprise me if Zeus turned out to be a machine guard just like that Poseidon was. Yeah. Or Arebis. If these gods are the embodiment of this planet's concrete and abstract, and possess the same abilities, properties, and authority as described in the mythology, and if, on top of that, they also possess powerful mechanical bodies, then I suppose, uh, maybe, those machines were always their true bodies, even in proper human history? And if that's the case, that would mean this lost police. Captain? Oh, uh, right. Anyway, if he is omnipotent, and he seems to be, then he's the strongest being in Olympus. Yeah. So it's safe to assume that he has authority, powerful, and all encompassing enough to marry leading the other 12 Olympians. I don't know exactly what he's like here, but in the age of Cots I know, he was definitely the top dog. So if at all possible, I'd really rather not face him head on. Exactly! He's not someone we want to go head to head with! It'd be one thing that there was a way to snuff out all of his demiurge class divinity, like we did in Scandinavia and India, but when he's an honest to goodness genuine god we're talking about, that's just not gonna work. Yeah. Full. Ow. What was that? Some kind of turbulence? Now fall. Insignificant ones. Well shit. All hands, brace for impact. Thunderbolts. No, these are great thunderbolts. These magical energy levels are bonkers. Every single bolt is ginormous. Wait, you're kidding me? They're all as strong as Artemis Cannon? Well, that's... Great. Oh, come the hell on. I heard of power creep, but this is nuts. No, yeah, do whatever you must to make sure those things don't hit us. Nearly just caught this new ship. Wait. Checking whole readings now. I was right. They're all missing us. But how? Are they is it for intimidation or what? Looks like our emergency scattering worked, I mean she. Oh yeah, it did. Well, I'll be. Excellent work, Captain. Technical advisor. You are both far more useful than aquapaths out there. So what was that gizmo just now, anyway? Some sort of secret defensive system you put together when I wasn't looking? Yep, pretty much. It's mostly a kind of a spirit origin shaft grenade that uses extremely high performance dummy spirit origins to throw off enemy attacks. I only just finished putting it together before we went down the great pit. It's the Torn Border's latest defense. I might not have been able to finish it in time for Shoutdown with Artemis, but it's designed to even defend against attacks from orbit. And as you just saw, it works brilliantly. None of the lighting is hitting us directly. Wow, yet yeah, amazing. You're the best, Da Vinci. You know it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Our stone border is amazing. This is just the kind of dream ship I would have imagined Captain Nemo and the Alas Institute could come up with could come out with if they worked together. Not even Zeus Thunderbolts can touch us. You see that, Zeus? This is what proper human history's mages association can do when we set our minds to it. Now, all that being said, would you mind if I brought up a different issue? I know we're managing to fight a brilliant meter battle at the moment, but technically, this ship is still falling, right? Hey. I knew it! Of course we're technically falling. I'm doing my damn best to slow our fall with the propulsion and the inertia controls, but I can't change the fact that this is a boat. Of course it's not gonna work right anywhere that's not uh, on the sea, underwater, or void space. Product, mash! Get to your seats and don't move a muscle, and keep an eye on the monitors. Look for any body of water we could use for an emergency on an emergency landing. 
sea, lake, pond, anything. On it. Roger that. Thousand Sue Thunderbolts won't do as much good if we just end up being dashed to pieces on the ground. We need to keep the stone border and myself safe at any cost. True. Every aspect of this new border is undoubtedly at the cutting edge of proper human history technology. However, with the supreme being of a mythological system so advanced they had a futuristic technology, like nanomachines for thousands of years, really miss his first strike. Then again, what if... Captain! Da Vinci! Open the engine up full, thro full throttle! It's not safe to be up in the air like this. Nearby body of water or not, we need to land while the shaft is still working. There! Target spotted 4,000 meters below. We can use the trees in that forest to caution our descent. Set inertia control to 7 o'clock. Point the bow downward. And fold the zero cell by 80%. Got it! I'll handle the controls. All you marines, get to your post, now! Aye aye, ma'am. We'll blast our way out of here like a giant marlin. Alright. Something bad is happening. Keeps carrying the spirit origin chaff as we descend. Once we're, on th once we're 1000 meters from the target landing point, piece the bow up. All hands, brace for impact. It's going to be a bumpy landing. Ah, uh, this G4 is intense. This feels like my gut's about to come clean off. Why are we going down this fast, Captain? I thought the Spirit Origin Shaft was keeping us safe. An elementary deduction, Gordoff. True, the Stormboard's new weaponry is a force to be reckoned with. However, take a look at the Gale of Thunderbolts and consider this. What if Zeus is still holding back? And this is just what he considers warning shots. Warning shots? Then you mean he still has yet to actually attack us? Then we're all as good as dead. They might call me Phoenix, but that doesn't mean I can fly out of here. Come on, everyone, hurry! We need to get out of this airspace as soon as possible. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Damn, it's no use. I can't dodge every bolt. We're going to take a direct hit. Mere, take the helm. Uh, me? Senpai! Brace yourselves, everyone. Why the bumpy ride we got at arriving? Lost by Death A+. Plus. Interstellar mountainous city Olympus. The day to bring down gods. Here we are. Show the map. Come on. Loading. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Holy. Okay. Gliding point. No battles yet. Ah! Shit, shit, shit! How am I supposed to emergency land a freaking battleship when I've never done it before? And why am the one taking the helm? The hell are you doing, Captain? Gah! All hands, make sure you're strapping tight! Holy shit! Uh, uh, hey, we stopped. I am alive, I think. Faster, are you alright? I'm fine. What about you, Mash? I'm alright. I remain on standby in a half seating posture so I could be ready for a worst case scenario. And I guess it worked out. Good. It looks like we stuck the emergency landing. Next, shut down magical reactors 1 through 3. And hurry, if Zeus notices their magical energy, he'll come after us. Already done. Captain, would you mind taking care of the ship's cup of flesh? Don't worry, I'm on it. In fact, I'm already done. 
Since I discussed the ship right before we landed, the enemy shouldn't have seen where we wound up. Hurry up with the cloaking. They may not be able to see us, but they could still detect our magical energy. Aye, sir. Oh, boy. Alright, now that things have settled down, let's assess our current situation. After Zeus attacked the stone border, we made an emergency landing near Olympus' western perimeter. By deploying optical camouflage around the ship, we were able to evade visual detection, detection during the landing. We've also shut down the border's motive power, namely the magical reactors and... and... surrounded the entire hull with a conceling bounder field to prevent the enemy from detecting his magical energy. This should mean we successfully landed the ship in Olympus with the enemy none the wiser as to our location. At least theoretically. First off, great work everyone! You should all be proud that we made it out of that w made it out of that without having to resort to a dangerous zero sale. After all, in the worst case, a zero sale taken without the necessary precautions could wipe us all out. Really, a few times we managed to pull one out so far were basically miracles. Phew! Anyway, the important thing is, I'm glad we're all okay. It just goes to show what an excellent machine the stone border truly is. To can evade an omnipotent god's thunderbolts, it can dive into void space. If you brought it back to proper human history, it would be the greatest technological revolution of all time. <coughs> uh, that will never happen. This ship couldn't exist in a world where humanity was flourishing like it's supposed to. It's only in this completely bleached world that my Nautilus novel phantasm, see or shoot a spirit on armor, aka the Hermes skin. Hephaestus nanomachines and Caldeus engineering could all come together like this. The only reason the storm warning exists at all is to defeat the foreign god. It won't have a purpose beyond that. Oh, I see. I suppose that's true, isn't it? But that doesn't change the fact that it's still a great, dependable ship. Indeed. You're spot on there. I'm glad to see you understand. I don't you rate. We can let everything we did in Atlantis be for nothing. We certainly wouldn't be able to look the Atlanteans in the eye if we got ourselves shut down before we even landed the ship. We'll need to be ready to use all available resources. Have you finished replenishing your command spells? All the precious pack of command spells we save up in case we need them for a huge battle. And we're just going to use them up like it's nothing. All replenished, sir. Good. Now that things have come to this, we we'll have to use every resource at our disposal. After all, we still have a crucial mission we need to carry out. Right. We absolutely must cut down the tree of emptiness here on Olympus. Tell me, technical advisor, how safe do you think we are right now? Good question. From the scans of the surrounding area, I'd say we lucked out. I'm guessing this area we're in now is in the Oscars of Olympus. There are almost no buildings here, there's no sign of any natives, and I don't see a single soldier or defensive weapon anywhere. We can thank Meunier for his choice of landing spot, since he was the one handling the controls on short notice. I agree. I would have landed the ship myself, but I had my hands full coordinated with the Nemo series. Great job, Meunier. When we have a chance later, I'll give you a proper lesson on how to steer the ship. Well, uh, hey, <laughs> what can I say? It was pretty impressive if I do say so myself, but still. Sure, I got a little panic when you first asked me to take over, but I figured things would work out if I just stuck to my usual game plan. Thanks, Mune. You did great. Ah, I can't really take the credit. The stone border did all the hard work. I just kept it stable. Still, I'm glad I was able to help you out, Captain. You definitely did. I was planning to station a marine in the cockpit, but now I won't have to. So since I have one to spare now, I'll assign them to ship cleaning duty instead. Good. Keeping the ship clean at all times will be a great boost to morale. Ahem. <coughs> well, administrative advisor, the bad news. I know well enough by now that it can be all good. That it can be all be good. Right, you are, director. You really are getting the hang of this. 
Now that we sh we've shut down all of our magical reactors, restarting them will take some time. Which means, of course, that we are effectively stuck here for the time being. That means no zero cell either. Oh, I see. At least they should have a hard time finding us here, right? Right, as long as we remain hidden, the gods of them detecting us here below. Right, as long as we are unable to start up the ship's engine at a moment's notice, we'll be out to sea without a lifeboat if we are spotted again. If we end up taking several of those supercharged magical energy attacks head on, without even any of our defensive mechanisms to shield us, well... I don't even want to think about it. Uh... Nemo? Captain! You okay? Uh huh? Captain, why did you collapse like that? Are you okay? I'm sorry. It looks like Sue's great thunderbolts were even more powerful than we thought. The one that hit us didn't damage the ship too badly, but it did damage my spirit core. Oof. Oh no. Does this mean those thunderbolts are actually young to serve an attacks? It's a good thing only one of them hit us. If even one more of those had struck, we might have ended up losing our new ship. Ugh, this is pathetic. I don't even have the strength to stand. Damn it! Get Nemo Nurse in here on the double. Make sure Captain is as comfortable as possible. Right. Does this mean you're in your as well, Da Vinci? Looks that way. I thought I was just feeling off thanks to all the magical energy I used for the chap on the Concilium spell. But since I was acting as a stormboard CPU when we got hit, I guess I acted got just as hard as the captain. I think I had better rest up for a while too. Da Vinci? He is either. Good, I got her in time. Thanks for the nurse call. Is it an emergency? I'll say thanks for coming, Nemo. It's Captain on Da Vinci. The former collapse and the ladder and the ladder is totally drained. Please hurry. Holmes, Munier, uh, how are Da Vinci and Captain doing? They're both asleep now. Well, I say asleep, but it's more like what we did back in Scandinavia. They're in recovery. We are. Blah, blah, blah. They're in the recovery pods I used at the time. They may seem fine on the surface, but their spirit cores have both suffered significant damage. It may take them a few days, but don't worry. We expect them both to make full recoveries. To put it in the modern parlance, this will be no big deal. Well, that's a relief. Yes, it is. It's too bad we can visit them while they're in the pods, but I'm still glad to hear they'll be okay. Quite so. Ideally, I'd prefer to wait for their full record before we begin our plan of attack in earnest, but... Indeed, we have neither the time nor the mental capacity to spare for that. Both the captain and the technical advisor fulfilled their duties spectacularly. Yes, they may be useless for the time being, but no matter. Their recovery takes priority. Meanwhile, those of us who remain have an obligation to make the most of this opportunity they've given us. Namely... Mega move before we're found, right? Exactly. By this point, I suppose there was no need for me to say anything after all, was there? Ahem, <coughs> alright. As the new director of Caldea, and the command of the storm border, here are my orders. Master Prodak, Muscurilite, her faithful servant. There is still much we don't know about our situation, but even so, I'll need you two to head out. But I'm afraid we won't be able to support just normal with our technical advisor incapacitated. Myself, Munier, and our, administra and our administrative advisor will do our best to fill her shoes in the meantime. Your sole objective for now is to explore this lost but and recruit other proper human history servants. <laughs> at least this time we won't be at a complete disadvantage thanks to the vanguard that got here ahead of us. Once you find the heroic spirits that came here from Atlantis, the test is sure to turn swiftly in our favor. If we're going to defeat that detestable Kishtaria, cut down the propestrally's huge tree of emptiness. 
and the streets are incredibly dangerous zoos. You'll need to meet up with them first. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just what I like to hear. Now I can relax and really enjoy my breakfast. I've just run a scan of our vicinity, and I'm afraid the circumstances are very much not in our favor. Unfortunately, we'll be no more able to bolster our ranks via summoning circle here than we were in Atlantis. Every last line for kilometers, for kilometers is under intense observation. They are too man-made, or perhaps I should say god-made, to be of use to us. Suffice to say, we won't be able to secure the magical energy necessary to summon and maintain new heroic spirits while we're here in Olympus. I'm afraid we'll have to be content with using the spirit origin graph for temporary combat-only summons. Yeah. A shame. All the more reason you need to find the heroic spirits game here ahead of us as soon as possible. With the forces we have, we won't even be able to keep ourselves safe, let alone accomplish the mission. It would have made things a lot easier if we could have summoned more combat ready hero experience on my lead line. But I guess that was too much to hope for, just like it was in Atlantis. Well, in the meantime, I don't know how much this will help. But here, these are for you two. Thanks, Mune. But, um, what are they? They're disguise kits. Well, I kind of missed it, Code, really. That Da Vinci made in secret base of the Atlanteans. Basically, they use Minecraft to the fi to the sea for Lucas both optically and perceptually, giving you the same effect as wearing a disguise without actually having to put one on. She said to make use of the same disguise principles as Holmes' novel Phantasm. They should let you disguise yourself as residents of Olympus and gather the information we need. Right, I know this is business as usual for you guys by now, but still, be careful. The silver line in here is that your magical energy readings are the same as any other humans. Apparently even Mash only has a tiny bit of servant aura about her right now. So hey, in that sense, this should make it a lot easier to sneak in than it would be if you were bringing servants along. That's true. Under these circumstances, the risk of a hostile servant noticing me or Senpai should be very low. So if all goes well, they should give us the chance we need to rendezvous with the heroic spirits who got here before us. But uh, that being said, you'll still be at a major disadvantage if you do end up in a fight. So don't lean on the disguise kit the disguise kits too heavily, okay? Then again, we are both old hands now with Raziers and Lost Spells, so I'm sure you already know that. Director. Hmm? What is an administrative advisor? I have two suggestions I'd like you to hear. The first is that we send the combat and environmental information we gathered today to the Wandering Sea in a data packet. And for the second, well, I think discretion would be the best course for this one. Uh, what's this now? <laughs> Careful, I'm quite ticklish, you know. Hmm. Uh, what was that? Are you serious administrative advisor? But that's surely you can't. Director, do you remember the border guards that Odysseus kept under his command? Hmm, those guys. What about it? I'm quite certain that your concerns, while understandable, are nevertheless unwarranted. Hmm, it's incredibly risky, but, uh, but I can't deny that it also makes a lot of sense. Hmm, no, right. As the director of Nomon Caldea, I can't have any subordinates be the only ones putting themselves in danger to restore proper human history. Very well, Administrative Advisor. I accept your proposal. Thank you. I have every confidence you will make the right decision. Hmm? What were you guys talking about? I'm afraid the time is not your right. Don't worry, you'll find out soon enough. Oh, I haven't heard you say that in a long time, Holmes. <laughs> this is no laughing matter if you ask me. Jeez. Wonder what they have planned for this. Alright, once again, Prodac, Mashkirolite, as director of Novum Caldea, here are your orders. You two are to leave the border at once and make your way to the city of Olympus. 
Once you're inside, find out where the proper human history servants are and meet up with them post haste. After you have secured an adequate fighting force, you are to cut down the fifth tree of emptiness. Roger that. Understood. We'll go begin our Olympus investigation right now. Yep. Let's do it. Let's get out of into the world or whatever. No battles yet. Good. Directly beneath the fifth tree of emptiness, Magellan. I suppose it's pronounced Magellan, Magellan. I mean, in Spanish is Magellan, but I don't know. I'll go with that. I guess. Interstellar mountainous city Olympus, Great Orbital Shrine Olympian Dorona, the center of its operation. Is this a meeting? Europa. A revelation is upon us. A revelation is upon us. Hi there. Now is the time of revelation. Gather round, O noble gods of Olympus. He has ruled the heavens since the dawn of time, emerging triumphant in no less than four machia. By day, he rules over clear blue skies. By night, he conquers what lies beyond them. He is the wielder of the great thunderbolts capable of sharing stars, galaxies, even the very universe. A third is no less than Uranus and Cronus themselves, bound to his will. He is the great Demiurge, the one who wields the Cronus crown for all eternity. Now, behold the words of the almighty Zeus. I trust all are here. Indeed they are, my lord. Okay. <coughs> and the Oscuri. And Rasputin. Doman? Okay, and Koyoskaya not present. Rejoice, my fellow gods. Rejoice, gods from foreign lands. All is proceeding accordingly, according to my will. The seeds I planted have grown brilliantly, disturbed neither by chill rain nor merciless rays of sun. Tree of emptiness Magellan, no, Atlas, the world tree, is about to bloom. Glory to Almighty Zeus. <coughs> Congratulations, Father. That's wonderful, Father. Congratulations. You must restore mythology to its rightful place. This lost post divine power must not remain relegated to Olympus. It must spread across the world. Across every, be uh, every bit of bleached white land. If humans were unable to save it, then the task falls to the gods instead. As I shall use all the power I will to save this world in place of those gods who left during proper human history. For it is still far too soon to lose the intelligent human species that has taken root on this planet. Hmm. Mm hmm. This is indeed all unfolding absolutely wonderfully. Even in my wildest dreams, I never imagined at last the world tree would grow so large so quickly. It even puts the Indian lost belt tree's explosive growth to shame. This would undoubtedly be the land where our god, the foreign god, the sense upon this world. Oh yes, of that I'm absolutely certain. Nothing could make we three alter egos who have come here on behalf of the foreign god happier. It is unfortunate that one of us could not be present at this time, but no matter. You have my pledge that I will do everything in my power. Okay, to help you grow the world tree to maturity and to ensure the foreign ghost descent proceeds undeterred. Aphrodite, the foreign god, excuse me. Ugh, it's always foreign god this and foreign god that with you. Are you ears working properly? Do you not hear what Almighty Zeus has to say? He's the one who's growing to save this world. There's no place for your foreign god here. Now remember your place and hold your tongue, foreigner, lest you say something you regret. Now, now, Aphrodite, there's no need to let anger mar your beautiful face. 
Besides, you do well not to underestimate these gods from foreign lands. Especially that monk there. Someone is calling. Don't bother me, please. Do not inter do not disturb, please. <coughs> Rumor is that he single-handedly drove the ancient land of India into a hellish cycle of reincarnation. So I'd be careful if I were you. Let's he end up turning all of Olympus into Tartarus. Ha! Tartarus? Ridiculous. If you wish to joke, Demeter, save it for an audience who might appreciate your brand of humor. As for you, you have some nerve speaking of a foreign god in our presence. How dare you speak of a god from an alien planet knowing full well that with the sentence of chaos migrated here from across the galaxy. Who do you think you are? You know nothing of Zeus' power. You know nothing of what transpired 14,000 years ago at the moment our lost spell began. You have no idea how Zeus' thunderbolts utterly destroyed the foreign invader who came to kill all life on this planet. Huh. Who do I think I am, you ask? I am me, of course. No more, no less. You insolent little... Wait, Aphrodite. A moment, please, O oh goddess of beauty. If I may, allow me to remind you that we are all equally invested in seeing the world tree to maturity. Lord Kistaria, the crypter, said that the th that though our long-term goals may be different for now, cooperating is on our mutual best interest. Give story of what I'm. Oh, what's this? My, my, is this truly happening? You, the goddess of beauty herself, the arbiter of value for all humanity. They, they need to take advice from your human. I never thought I would see the day. That's enough, Limbo. A joke is only funny when his audience is receptive. So I suggest you be more judicious about playing the jester while in the company of gods, especially given that same tendency led to your failure in India. You don't miss words, do you? I was merely trying to lighten the mood. But you're right, I did miss just my audience. And since my failure in India has affected me more than I realized, Forgive me, O oh gods of Greece. Aphrodite, goddess of beauty. Demeter, goddess of land. All powerful Zeus, priestess queen Europa. I hope you will accept this humble apology. Well then. Limbo. Oh my. Well then, I do beg your pardon. Not at all. I am the one who owes you an apology. I hope you will forgive my momentary surprise. Oh, gods of foreign lands. Limbo. Don't be absurd, my illustrious queen of Europa. I am the one who has wronged you. No, that. Silence, all of you. I understand your anger. I understand your impatience. But stay your tongues. There are some facts we must accept, no matter how humiliating they may be. Namely, the fact that without the tree of emptiness, none of us could exist. Our glorious Olympus prosperity, we the Olympians eternal reign, all depend on the tree of emptiness. This we must come to terms with if we are to overcome the tree's hold on us. Overcome the tree's hold? Does that mean you plan to cut down the tree of emptiness? As long as you grow the tree to full maturity, we have no objections as to what you do with it afterwards. But still, the very idea of overcoming the tree's hold is just... <laughs> Are you truly capable of such a thing, almighty Zeus? Indeed, it is a tax beyond even my all-encompassing power. Which is why I have formed an alliance with my sworn friend Kishtoria Vodheim, the Crypter. Zeus, need I remind you that he is only a human? Zeus, you will still call that human your sworn friend? Silence. 
Your story about him, the Crypter, is no ordinary human. One could well liken the mammalian humans from proper human history to little more than sentient reeds. And indeed, Kisteria is sentient. But no mere reed could ever be that strong. <coughs> well then. So this is the Machina Corridor of the Great Orbital Shrine Olympia de Dona, huh? It's way too damn long if you ask me. How's a guy supposed to cross this thing and get where he is going on on time? Did they just... <coughs> hold up. Did they just make it to scale with the gods of Olympus or something? At this rate I'm gonna die of old age before I get everywhere anywhere. Yeah. A long corridor indeed. Still on a different note, I can't believe he's just letting me walk around like this unsupervised. What I am, I swear. I can't tell what that guy's thinking. I feel like I need to forgive my god, I've constantly figuring it was just a matter of time before he sent someone to finish me off. I always thought a crypto without a lost belt would be worthless. That he wouldn't have anywhere left to go and no reason to be kept alive. I was sure he was just going to take my serious light and be done with me. <coughs> was I wrong? I remember Director Marisbury said. The serious light is the power to overturn the very world. Possessing it is what makes you a cryptor. We studied every abnormality that could possibly occur during the Seven Ages. We trained for every scenario we might encounter in the simulator. Team A was supposed to save the world, and our serious lights were supposed to be our trump card. But, it's strange, when you think about it, we were never actually told exactly what the serious light is. Sure, they told us that they are even more powerful command spells, and that they produce more magical energy than the user could generate on their own. But the only one of us who actually knows when and why to use them is Wodheim. After all, he was the one entrusted with their timing. So he should also be the only one who knows how the serious lights are really meant to be used. So then, what hasn't he taken mine? Ever since we came back to life, what has always said how the creatures are all equal in the foreign gods' eyes, but it never occurred to me that he might really mean it. Does this mean he seriously believes that? Damn it, what am I saying? There's no way he could. He's a noble. He's got to have an angle I'm, I'm not seeing. There must be something that only he knows. Something about the serious lights, the foreign god. The trees of emptiness, and why the lost spells can exist in the present day. Alright, what I'm. I'll find out what it is you're up to. Whatever it is you want to start plotting, I'm gonna bring it to light. And if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna need a distraction that really stands out. Well then, sure. And Peperoncino, you know I was thinking. I still haven't been punished for my failure with the Indian lost spell, right? So go ahead and punish me however you see fit, what I'm whatever it is, I can take it. I hope I have not given you cause to mistake me, Pepe. We creepers are colleagues, nothing more. I have no more authority to punish you than any of the others do. For the time being a Scandinavia Peperoncino, let's just be glad you're alright. You're sure taking all this in stride you're the you're sure taking all this in stride. That expected anything less, of course. But I still wouldn't feel right getting off scot free. Why don't you at least take my serious light? Sure, I could probably save more face with the foreign god if I offer it up to them instead. But I couldn't care less about getting in either the foreign god or the alter ego's good graces. So here, Han, you're gonna have my serious light. Make sure you make good use of it. Thank you, Pepe, but there's no need for that. You can keep yours. The serious light has not been my responsibility since Team A ceased to be relevant. So no, you should hang on to yours. What you do with it is up to you. I see. So Ophelia didn't happen to die after using hers. She died because she used her serious light. Would I be right in assuming that's what Marmirsbury had in mind when he put our team together? Not a liberty to answer that, huh? 
Now I get it. I'm starting to see just a little more of what your relationship was really like. Despise me if you wish. You're probably right to do so. Despise you? No, you're just insulting me, what I'm. I think the fact that you are refusing to say anything just goes to show how much integrity you have. Up to this point, I still wasn't sure who was connected to what. But I think I'm finally starting to see how the pieces fit together. <laughs> it never really sunk in before, but I guess we really are enemies of humanity after all. I have to say, Pepe, your sheer mental fortitude never fails to surprise me. I'm, a f I'm amazed you can still smile like that under these circumstances. Hey, it's the one thing I've got going for me, though in my case it's more despair than self-possession. But hey, the important thing are that I'm alive right now, and what it is I need to do next, right? I never get anywhere if I spend all my time freeing about a past I can't change. So I'm just going to tell you this in the hope that it might lead to an even more fun future. You know how the disciples are always telling us the foreign god wants the, the lost spots to flourish, and that the strongest one will become the foundation of a new humanity? Well, I'm positive they're lying. They're not planning on any of the lost spots surviving. While we've been hoping that one of the lost spots will become the next proper human history, they've got all their plans entirely. And why do you think that? <laughs> I heard it straight from the alter ego's mouth back when he was elated at the, uh, at the prospect of his seemingly assured victory. I swear, I never would have guessed his fondness for hearing himself tag would actually work in our favor. <laughs> I see. So you got Limbo to talk. Then I won't be responsible for what you've learned. And you won't violate my contract with the foreign god. That being said, Miorenji. I can't say anything more in response to what you've just told me. All I can tell you is that I am prepared to establish this lost spell as the new proper human history, and that I have done everything I can to see that vision my reality. I will use everything at my disposal to ensure this Atlantic lost spell becomes this planet's future. In the meantime, I want you to carry out your duties as a member of Team A, in whatever way you feel is best. Hey, you don't have to tell me. I was already planning to do whatever I wanted. Besides, I was never really into the whole King of the Earth competition thing anyway. But let me know if you ever need help with anything, alright? I know that much of an ingrate, you know. Not that much of an ingrate, huh? Of course I know that, Pepe. You've been a help to me more often than you realize. You always describe yourself as a cold-blooded killer, but in fact, you're always the most humane. Always honor your obligations more than any of us. <coughs> oh, hi. Foreign priestess. Oh, unless I am very much mistaken. There is a great deal of venom in your expression. Are you unhappy with what we just discussed? The Perugina came to his conclusions based on what the alter ego said. There's no need to eliminate him. Nor did I tell the other cryptos any of the foreign ghost secrets. So far as I can tell, there have been no breaches of contract here. Am I wrong? Everything is proceeding according to plan. The tree of emptiness is now a fully grown catalyst, ready to bring your true form down to this world. Zeus no doubt means to use this energy for his own ideals. For my part, I have no intention of getting in his way. I promised him I wouldn't, after all. We agreed that, though our positions may be very different, Zeus and I will work together to ensure that the Atlantic Lost Spell is fully completed. And I will not be going back on my word. Not after he trusted me enough to let me see him in a moment of weakness. I'm well aware, if Zeus' plan comes to fruition, that Geofentine's magical energy will be depleted, and the Foreign Ghost Descent will be delayed. Should that happen, I will be considered in breach of contract and my life will be forfeit. But that is not going to happen. My it pains me to say this as his friend. Zeus' ideals will never work. Even if his plan is flawless, once they fail, that is where I come into play. Don't worry, I see that my job is done perfectly. I value my life as much as anyone after all. It will be equally trivial for me to complete this lost spell 
a sweet society of real eyes. Or to conclude this lost spell and let the foreign god descend upon this world. The only unknown factor that could possibly pose an obstacle to either of those outcomes is Caldea, and what a course of action product chooses to pursue. I only hope her spirit isn't yet broken. I'm counting on her to make her way here and once more throw herself into battle against me, so that I can conclusively demonstrate to her that her efforts were for naught. Okay, an entire hour just to finish the first chapter, Jesus. That's a lot to read. Okay. Uh, let's see. How many captures for this again? Uh, let me check on the wiki. Uh, 27. And we're just done with the first chapter. That's something. Okay. I'm going to take a break here. Going to have something to eat and drink and be right back. Okay? In a couple of minutes. See you later.
Alright, we're back. We're back. So let's continue with reading this lost ball. Because I don't want to finish the first chapter. So now we go to the second chapter. Starting with formation restrictor battle die. Let's do it. Um Lancer. So we need to bring in a saber. Fever. Uh AoE or single target? Just in case. Okay, single target. Sure. Uh oh. Let's go with Tokita, I guess. So the mass is the starting member, okay. Okay, am I going to put some more savers in the back? And uh, not by level, by class. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's bring. No, let's bring uh, Lancelot instead. <coughs> Alrighty. Uh, let's bring in. Dive to blue. Okay. And I think I'm going to keep a Sclepius in the back. I think I'm going to run low on ghosts with it. Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. Let me see. Okay. We're good. Never mind. Then let me put Hogsa instead. And put Painting the Summer, maybe? I think he's, I think Painting the Summer will be good. Yeah, let, let's just go with that. Um, okay. And the Mystic Gold, we're going to put something else. Not sure what though. Mm. I think we're going to go with the Caldea Uniform Arctic. Why not? Let's give this a shot. Session 2 Olympus Reception. Reception. I don't know how to say that word. First off, <laughs> okay. <coughs> it's been two hours since we left the storm border. Our comms still aren't working well, so we can't get in touch with anyone. I doubt the one the bounded fuel our disguises are generating an energy. But wait, 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 wait. I doubt the bounded fuel our disguises are generating. Okay are interfering with the signals, so it must be the magical energy in the atmosphere. I guess this means we'll need to head back to the border to tell everyone what we find out. First step, gathering information. Yep. Right. I just hope we can meet up with the servants who got here before us quickly. Indeed. There are no hostile entities nearby. I don't see any, resi any residents of Olympus either. By the going of the topographical information, I was able to glean right before we landed. We should soon arrive at the city's western perimeter. We'll have to be careful as we make our way there, Senpai. Yep. It's nice to see you in good spirits, Fo. I don't think I've seen you this happy since Scandinavia. Is it all the magical energy in the atmosphere? Let me double check the readings. <coughs> the atmosphere has magical energy, the density is still on par with the age of gods from the seventh singularity. I'm not seeing any abnormalities in your vitals either, Master. Everything looks to be within normal parameters. How about you, Mash? Are you doing okay? Yes, I'm fine. The only difference is that my skin feels a little more sensitive than usual. While we're here, why don't we check to make sure our disguises are working properly too? Activating disguise mystic goes now. Everything looks fine. Uh, what is it for? I think he's saying they work perfectly. I see. Thank you, Fo. Thank you, really. Mash? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about the disguises. 
We still don't know what Olympians look like, so I hope there'll be enough to let us blend in. <coughs> According to the instructions manual, these disguise kits reference current Atlantean fashion. To simulate the kinds of clothes the Atlanteans presumably wore before they were banished. Da Vinci must have figured that an advanced civilization like Olympus would probably be the same today as it was several thousand years ago. So I suppose whether these disguises are effective or not will depend on how accurate her simulation is. Uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Hopefully we are fine. That's true. Da Vinci's inventions have never let us down yet. Alright, senpai. Let's keep going. Olympus Western Perimeter should be just up ahead. Time to start a close encounter of the third kind with the local populace of Olympus. In this fifth lost belt. Yep. Let's go. This is very futuristic. Okay. We made it to the city. It certainly looks very different than anything we've seen in any other lost belt. Compared to, say, the Chinese Lost Belt, which developed along its own unique path. This one seems much more in line with what we would think of as a developed nation in proper human history. It looks just like a modern day city. It does, doesn't it? I got a glimpse of it from above while we were um, making our way down here. But I still can't quite believe they have advanced this far. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was passing out. Anyway, the local residents don't seem to be paying as much attention. So it looks like the, di the disguises are working. I hope so. As I thought, there's even more concentrated magical energy in the atmosphere here than there was in Atlantis. As much as there was in the Age of Gods. Although... <coughs> Good day, O glorious Zeus, blessed be his name. Blessed be his name, blessed be his name. Glory to Lord Zeus for presiding over the sun in Apollos' dead. Did you sleep well last night? Of course, thanks be to Lord Zeus for presiding over sleep in Hymnos' dead. I'm glad to see you all doing so well. Praise be to Lady Demeter for keeping you safe. Oh yes, you said it. The Ambrosia was delicious again today. I just know it will help me be even more beautiful. It's true, you were beautiful yesterday, and you are beautiful today too. I can feel Lydia Aphrodite's protection surrounding me. I'll have to stop by one of the brand shrines later to pray to her. Looks like the philosophers are debating something on the sidewalk. We're so fortunate to have them. Hey, wait up, Janice. You're going too fast. Race you to the mountain. Wait for me. Hey, want to come to the sacred library in the East District with me? The Dean Terminal is closing the university for the day to give a lecture there. This looks... Relatively normal. It certainly seems like the local Olympians are all accustomed to this atmosphere. I suppose this means this is a humanity from the Age of Gods. Still, all that being said... I'm amazed to see how much food traffic there is here. Between the buildings and the roads, it really does seem like a lost modern city from proper human history. Yep. And what's more? Everyone here seems so... happy. They do, don't they? Yes. Don't worry, foe. It won't be a problem. We know we're still on a mission. We won't forget where we're from or why we're here. Besides, we have an obligation to pay close attention to how the people of this lost belt live their lives. Master, did you notice any familiar words in those conversations we overheard? You mean like Apollo and Demeter? Yes, exactly. Demeter, the goddess of the land. Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty. And I overheard a few others as well. I'm not sure if they were talking about the gods of mythology or other people named after them. They could also be talking about divine spirits, heroic spirits, mechanical gods like in Atlantis. Or maybe there are other sacral non-divine spirits gods here, like Zeus. Maybe gods here will probably be your enemies, but maybe not all of them. 
I hope you're right. Now that Sus himself has attacked us, it's only natural for most of the other gods to follow his lead. But there should be still be other gods, like Apollo, who will be exceptions to the rule. Hmm. You let us know if you sense anything dangerous, right, Bo? Yep. Alright, Senpai. Let's start gathering information. We should be able to learn what we need by making close contact with the local Olympias and taking to them. Alright. Sure. Uh, hello. May Almighty Zeus' protection be with you. Oh, hey there. May Zeus and Hera's protection be with you, too. Say, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Alright, I suppose you haven't. I only just got here from the... Um, countryside? Uh, I basically came from the edge of town, so I'm still not used to being around so many people. Really? I'm pretty sure this is what it's like everyone in Olympus. Then again, I've only been to Shrine Town a few times, so it's not like I've seen everything the city has to offer. And hey, there were some less urban areas 10,000 years or so ago, so I guess it makes sense that there are still some districts like that now. So, what brings you here? You just move in or something? No, no, nothing like that. I'm just, uh, passing through? On a trip? Anyway, I don't know much about this area, so I was hoping you might be able to fill me in. We just got here today, and we're really lost. Oh, is she with you? So are you sisters or something? You don't look related, though. We we were, um... Oh, hello, cutie. You're a squirrel? Some kind of chimera pup? No, I'm guessing not. Anyway, I won't pry. I think it's great you're traveling, and I'd be glad to tell you what you want to know. This is the west side of the interstellar mountainous city of Olympus, 10th residential layer. Here, take a look. Okay. Doesn't the holy vessel ring Kronos crown look beautiful from this angle? Kronos crown. See the great shrine inside it up there? You'll never get such a great view of it over in the east district. That's a great orbital shrine Olympia Dorona. The heavenly castle for holy gods. Glory be to Zeus. Mm, okay. <coughs> and way up there, above the crystal mountains, that provide us with unlimited magical energy? The tree. Yep. That's Atlas, the world tree. It used to be called the tree of emptiness. But Almighty Zeus gave it a new name. It's a miraculous tree made up of Zeus' glorious light, and it was a gift from some gods of a foreign land. You can see it real clearly here, right? When it blooms, we're going to hold a huge festival right in this district. Uh, a festival? Well, sure, after all. That tree is what's keeping us alive after we were cut off from proper human history. So they know. They are aware. The people of Olympus seems to be aware of it, at least. <laughs> I see, I see. It's not every day we get travelers around here. The last ones I met were a young couple a lot like you two about 200 years ago. Yes, that's it. You should be proud. There's nothing wrong at all with taking the path less traveled. I have absolute faith that the gods support us humans in all our vast diversity. Still, that being said, I don't know how much I can teach you. Surely you already learned about the crown and the world tree, right? No matter where you go, Olympus endless bounty surrounds you. It's always been that way, especially over the last few thousand years, and it always will be. So there's nobody in all of Olympus you could go where we are impositively spoiled by riches. Just look at all these glittering production towers. The Ambrosia Lady Demeter bestows upon us every day. Things like hunger, illness, injury, and pain are all relics of the distant past. Past. Mmm, what's that? Yes, that's right, 200 years ago. It was practically just the other day. The immortality. My job? <laughs> Your troubles are funny. Jobs are those things people used to have to do to earn money, right? I'm amazed you still remember such an ancient concept. 
Are you history buffs or something? But I think that's wonderful. There's just something romantic about archaeology. It's such a shame that the ghosts don't like to talk about things that happened more than 10,000 or so years ago, and that there aren't more records of the past. You must run into the same problems at every university and research organization. Me? Oh no, I don't go to university. I'm an artist. There's nothing that brings the gods more joy than the evolution of art and culture. I don't know what we would do without the gods. They watch over us, protect us, love us. Ah, uh, glory be to Zeus. Right. Ah yes, in my case, I study under educational terminal number 3, at the nearby art academy. <coughs> well, me and about 500,000 other students. <laughs> That's a lot. War. Yeah, I've heard that used to be a thing. You can read all about it in the government records, libraries, and university archives. Oh wait, is your district one of those, th or one of the ones that doesn't have any big government offices or libraries? I imagine there are still places in Olympus bereft of the gods' glory. Anyway, sure, I can tell you what I know. A long time ago, there were four great wars called Magia. The first war was between Zeus gods and Kronos titans. The second was between Zeus' gods and the White Ruin. The third was between Zeus' gods and the, Gigan and the Gigantes. I suppose it's pronounced like that. And the fourth was... Huh. The exile that took place a few thousand years ago? Yes, that was part of the fourth Magia. A tragic civil war fought between the gods themselves. The followers of the gods who lost, the poor people who did not accept the gods' protection, left Olympus and descended to Atlantis. Though another theory says that they left in search of their far off homeland. Either way, it's all in the past now. Humans have never waged war with one another and they never will. Well then, that's something. Yeah, it's great here. Every day so much fun. I play all day yesterday, and I'm gonna play all day today too. Hey, what kind of animal is that? A baby chimera? A lion? Ah, uh, what did you say? Is there anything we're scared of? Or anything that hurt us? Uh, no. I can't think of anything like that. Heck, I can't even remember the last time. I heard words like pain or scary. Are you doing pain? Are you scared of something? Hmm. You want to know more about the gods? You can't be serious, right? Is this a trick question or something? Huh? You're from the countryside? Do you know about Lord Zeus? I see. I had no idea there were still areas within Olympus bereft of the gods' glorious protection. Do tell where you're from later, okay? I'll let them know during my regular prayer at the branch shrine. I'm sure Lady Europa will take care of it once we bring this to her attention. You do know who Lady Europa is, right? Queen Europa is Lord Zeus's wife. She's a demigod who assimilated with Lady Hera, so she's sure to hear your prayers. Really? Don't tell me you didn't even know that. What about the branch shrines? You know, the places we go so the ghosts will hear our voices. Do you mean you don't even know about them? How the ghosts can hear us better there than anywhere else? You poor children. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. But don't worry, the gods watch over all of us equally. <coughs> ah, glory to the great gods of Olympus. Glory to the ones who sit atop the great shrine, in possession of the Kronos crown. Lady Demeter, Lady Aphrodite, Lord and Lady Dioscuri, Queen Europa. Almighty Zeus. Glory to our guests, the gods of foreign lands. And to Lord Zeus's sworn friend, Lord Kistaria Wodheim. Yeah? Kirstaria. I guess that means everyone in Olympus knows who Kirstaria is then. Oh my, do what's your tongue? You can refer to Lord Zeus's own friend without a title. Oh, I'm sorry, that just slipped out. <laughs> I don't mind so much myself, but you could end up on probation if one of the guards were to hear you. Probation? You mean would be thrown in jail? Oh my, this is even worse than I thought. I can't imagine how undeveloped the place you grew up in must be. You should really file a proper complaint with your local government office about this. Just to be perfectly clear, no guard would ever do anything so barbaric as that. 
Lord Zeus has decreed that not a single drop of blood should ever be spilled in Olympus. Oh my, I can't believe there's still even one place in the city that uses languages like that. This is just beyond belief. Uh, I'm sorry, I was just reading a history book recently, and I guess I kind of got history mixed up with the reality. Easy mistake, we've all been there. Really? I'll have to be careful about that. Foe? Mm. Bells? Attention, my beloved Olympians. This is Queen Europa. I'm speaking to you from above Great Orbital Shrine Olympian Dorona. A revelation is upon us. A revelation is upon us. <coughs> oh my. What is this? Foe? Quiet. Go on, stand up straight and pay attention. You haven't had an unscheduled <coughs> an unscheduled public broadcast from the Great Shrine in hundreds of years. You know, you are not the first person who mentioned something that happened hundreds of years ago, do you? Yes, of course I remember. Now hush already. This is divine revelation. Hmm. Intruders from the outside have infiltrated our interstellar mountainous city of Olympus. Be careful, my beloved citizens, for these intruders are extremely dangerous. They know. Lord Zeus has sent them here among you. There are two of them. These monstrous villains are from Chaldea, from proper human history. They are destroyers of worlds who have obliterated four other lost spells. These arrogant malefactors believe themselves these worlds true ha inhabitants and look down their noses on our Olympus. We cannot peacefully coexist with such beings. So just this one, these ones, we are permitted to use violence against them. You will recognize one of these loathsome Chaldea demons by the red marks on their right hand. Should you find them, it is Zeus in a Zeus commands that you kill them. Red marks on the right hand. Chaldea? No way. Are, are you to them? They want to over human history. Send by. Run for Imash. Right. Hey, get back here. Lord Zeus wants. Get out of here. This way, fool. So much for the disguises. Guess that didn't work to hide the command seals. Why are those two running up like that? Wait, are those the Chaldea demons? Nah, it's Chaldea. The Chaldea demons. It's Chaldea. Chaldea. The Chaldea demons. Wow. Get inside. Lock the doors. Hurry up. Don't let them kill you. I can't believe the demons of proper human history are here in our city. Somebody get to the branch temple. Hurry. We're not gonna make it. Help. Somebody. 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 Kill the demons. Hold it. This is as far as you go. We citizens of Olympus heard everything the revelation told us. Please, let us through. You people from Chaldea have been killing everyone in the Lost Pals, right? And now it's our turn. I... that's... I have to say, it's still hard to believe. I would expect you two to look more... evil or something. I never would have guessed you'd actually look like a couple of cute girls. But you're just trying to get us to lower our guard. I haven't done any combat training in a long time. I've never wished Lord Ares. Ares? Ares? I don't know how to pronounce that. We're still with us more than I do right now. You may have thrown away with concepts like jobs, labor, and professions a long time ago. Uh oh. Oh, dang. But we do still have soldiers. I may only be a reserve guard, but that's enough to let me don the armor of the gods. Well then. A magical energy transformation. I can't believe a normal human is able to output so much magical energy. 
It's almost like a servant's master. We need to distract him long enough to get away. Yeah. Right. I know. For this battle, I'll consider this soldier a single servant class hostile. Initiating ordinance combat mode. Setting output to maximum levels. A black shield, huh? So that's Caldea's weapon of choice. Very well then. Let's see if your shield can withstand my divine steel. You heartless, merciless demons. Match Kibelite, preparing to engage in combat with hostile entity. Ah. And... Battle begins. Oh boy. No right. No, okay, let me see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we I also need to put the speed up back to normal, like battle speed increase. Okay. Olympus soldier. Okay. <coughs> okay. I'm going to use Okita oh, to get the MP ready. Okay. Okay. Mm, not yet. I think I'm going to use this for the target focus. Let's do it. Defense down. Nice. We broke the bar. Good. Okay. I'm going to put the evasion on MASH for this. Okay. Okay. <coughs> well then, we deal enough damage, thankfully. Even with the defense up. And that didn't work because he used... Yeah. Great! Because uh, it uses the ignore invincibility, never mind. It didn't work at all. Okay. Mm, okay, we're going with this. Nice! Perfect! Not bad for the first battle. Not bad. Ah! 
he really is strong. And he said he was only a reserve guard who hasn't even trained in a long time. He's not giving us a single chance to escape. And then there's his sheer magical energy levels. They're on par with the servant. No. If anything, they're even higher. Master, the hostile is extremely powerful. He's easily several times stronger than the Atlantis border guards. His overall combat abilities are the same as a heroic spirit, maybe even higher. I'll find some way to get past him. Stand back, Miss Curialite. Reinforcements? Ah, Holmes! I was afraid of this, missing what we know of the Atlantis border guards. I suspect that the people of Olympus may each individually possess as much magical energy as a heroic spirit. I swear, why is it always the predictions you most want to be wrong that turn out to be spot on? Holmes, what are you doing here? Remember how the director was shouting right before you two left? That was because I had just suggested to him that I accompany you. So you've been following us in your spirit, on, in your spirit form all this time? Indeed, I have. I had hoped that uh, once my suspicions pro proved groundless, I could return to the border and continue protecting Da Vinci, Captain and the Director. But now that my suspicions have proved correct, it seems that that is no longer an option. So he's, he so he's here to stay, with Paritsu. Let's take him down together, Holmes. Please follow my lead. Understood. He blocked it. Now he's going to counterattack. But I should be able to defend, especially now that Holmes is backing me up. I'm surprised at you. I never thought your attacks would be so soft. Maybe deep down, you aren't really cut out for fighting. But you're still from proper human history and Caldea to boot. So I'll start by cutting off your arms. I'll use all the fantasy mystic code. Ooh. Holmes? Bodies who can be employed for defense as well as offense. At least this is a downside better than what happened in Scandinavia. Just a slightly injured. Miss Kirillite. Run for it. And don't look back. I'll find some way to hold him off. So you care for your allies. So then, how? How can you bring yourselves to destroy Lost Bells? I could answer that if you wish, but would there be any point in doing so? Would you put away your sword if I did? No, I wouldn't. I wasted enough time talking. I'm a soldier. All I need to do is tear that spirit origin of yours to shreds. Prepare to die, insolent heroic spirit, without so much as a drop of a divine blood. Holmes! Holmes! We will win this. Moving forward is the only option we have left. On a long and despotent journey like this, none of us can afford to look back. Masculite, Brodak, keep running and don't look back. Are you done playing now? Then die. Huh? Source woman's voice. <coughs> I think I know who this is. Damn, you guys wasted no time kicking things into high gear. Couldn't you have been a little more elegant about it? That voice. This is the most prosper of o prosperous of all the Lost Bells. A city state ruled by real genuine gods, right? So don't you think you should be a little more dignified on how you go about bearing your fangs? Musashi is back. Who are you? <laughs> you wish to know who I am, so they're from the realm of the gods? I am a wanderer who crosses between worlds. I let the wind take me where it wished, and now, in my death, I have become a servant. If you want to know more about who I am, then I gladly take you. I am a sailor who swore loyalty to that master there. I am the sword fighter who is going to cut you down with two drawn blades, two hidden blades, and one secret blade. With my neat and Ichiro. I have achieved mastery over the void. My true name is Shinme Musashi no Kami Fujiwara no Haronobu. Call me Miyamoto Musashi. She is back. 
Ah, that was just too cool, even for me. Of course. Well then, you got some backup. Okay. Uh, still battle. Still more battles. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, chapter two, arrow two. Okay, this is just land or enemies in this chapter. Got it. And we can only bring in Musashi. Said master starting member, sure thing. Then we go like this. <coughs> and we're starting off with battle right away. Good. Olympus soldier, just one. Okay. Uh, remind me again of your skills, just the, yeah, real quick. Okay. Okay, and this one was, uh, yeah. Okay, that's it. <coughs> <coughs> okay, by the way, what is unknown? Recover HP at the end of each turn. Okay, sure. Brave chain with Musashi. Let's do it. Okay. Sure hit. Uh, I'm going to heal and now here a little bit. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to hold all with the ignore invisibility of Musashi for now and quick cards to get some stars. Remove buff. Oh, a crate over there. Not bad. No, a crate. Really? Triple buster here? Not the most ideal, but oh well. Especially since. We are basically br have the bar broken there. No, oh well. There we go. And then a nice out. Well then. Yeah, okay. Hmm, okay. I should have used just mush and mush skill instead and instead of mushashis, but oh well. She's down. Okay, the three cybers. Do it. Um, okay. Uh, what were the other skills again? 
This is our gutter raid and guts and this is just yes, our sup. And okay. Um okay. Let me do this. Let me go with Lancelot. <coughs> Those were a lot of crits. Mm, okay. Um, then we go like this, and I think that may sh do it, probably. Yeah. Good. 118k. And that should be the weekly missions of this week. All completed. Good. Very good. I'm losing. How? They're just ordinary human heroic spirits. Too bad. He outclasses me in sheer ability and training. But he knows absolutely nothing about a real combat. Forgive me. Ooh. Well done. I mean it. Will you tell me your names again, Chaldeans? Miyamoto Mushashi, of Niten Ichiryo. Masculite, demi servant. Brodak. Musashi, Mash, Brodak. Olympus will never let you escape with your lies. We will kill you. On that you have my word. Finish it off. Ugh. Enemy hostile completely silenced. The battle is over. I wasn't planning to take his life directly. I'm sure you weren't. That's why I did it. Is there a problem with that, Brodak? No, well, yes, but it's okay. Good. Now, do you know what we need to do next? Get away from here as fast as we can, right? Very good. Remember, you are in the heart of enemy territory now, so get used to making calls like that. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm so glad you're all okay. Did I manage to make it in time for the start of the adventure? Of course. Thanks, Musashi. You bet. Whenever Caldea's in danger, I'll be there to help. I still have to pay you guys back for letting me stay there, after all. Anyway, I know we have a lot to catch up on. But right now, we should focus on getting out of here. Like I said, this is the heart of enemy territory. So, we don't want to stick around. Know the way out of town, Mash? Y yes, I do. I secure an escape route right now. Great. I knew you had a keen eye for this stuff. How about you, Mr. Detective? Can't you stand? I can. It was in the bleeding stuff as well. Thank you, Miss Miyamoto. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come along. It would also seem you're more right than you know. Take a look. Yep. They're coming. Multiple Olympian soldiers spotted. Master! Mash, we need a new route. Now. Right. But I'm afraid all three major routes have been blocked. Blockaded? Then we can take the back, Alice. There's a nice and they are nice and twisty. Perfect for making a getaway. That was in them to make more sense than moving about in the open. But wouldn't our, wouldn't our enemy be more familiar with the lay of the land than us? True. That's why we just have to trust to our leg when it comes to whether or not we'll run into anyone. If we do, we'll just have to cut them down and keep moving. Okay. Let's get going. Right. Let's do it. 
<clears throat> okay, let me claim this before I forget. There we go. More Lancers incoming. Okay. Let's do this. Home support, gift of inside revised. Good. Okay, let's go annihilator, Olympus soldier. Okay, one by one. Um, okay. We're going to use this. As we have a brief in here, might as well. Okay. Now we use this. Mm, okay. Um, I think we're going to try with the annihilator. Not sure if it will kill, but it should deal a lot of damage. That's a lot. Okay, 8 kills, thankfully. And now... Almost dead. <coughs> they should do it. Not bad with the grid. And done. Three turns. Not bad. Okay. Oh. Phew. This is rough. As for is everyone in Olympus as strong as a heroic spirit? Because it sure feels like it. I'm not detecting I not detecting any magical energy readings nearby. I think we managed to lose them for the time being. I'll use a talisman to put up a concealment bounded field. It's not much, but it should give you a moment to breathe. You did great, Master. You just ran the equivalent of a fifteen hundred meter dash at full speed. You should use this chance to take some deep breaths and replenish your oxygen levels. Will it help to sit down? No, I'm okay, thanks. Don't forget to rest up yourself, Mash. I won't. Thank you, Master. Right. Thank you, Fo. That's very considerate. Hmm... I guess it wasn't just that first Olympian soldier who turned out to be incredibly strong. No, it wasn't. These people have all been powered up to an unheard of degree. It feels like humans were brought up to heroic spirit level while still somehow remaining human. And they're not just physically strong. Their mental toughness is off the charts too. They didn't even bat an eye at losing an arm. Yes, well, you can understand why they might be so fired up as they say nowadays. They're fighting for their world just as much as we are for ours. No doubt they have their own loved ones they wish to protect here. It's little wonder they would put up such a tremendous fight. Yeah. There was always a chance that we would need to fight our way through the local populace in previous Lost Bells. 
now it was seen that possibility has become a reality. Many and every person in this lost belt, that is everyone who lives here in Olympus, should now be considered an enemy. Everyone in this lost belt. So the revelation was extremely effective. From now on, we should consider the entire city to be on the lookout for us. Suffice to say, the Olympians are simultaneously innocents who depend on the tree of emptiness for their survival, and vicious enemies who will take any chance they can to end us. Yeah. Which is exactly why we need to hold our heads high. Not we need to beat them, or we need to be strong, but we need to hold our heads, hi our heads high, huh? She really does have her head screwed on straight. I didn't even have to break out a pep talk. I guess I've both seen a whole lot of wolves in the time between Russia and here. Alright, this really isn't the time to let our guard down and relax, is it? Besides, we don't know if these people can still hear us through the abandoned field or not. They can't. Strong as they may be, the Olympian soldiers are still limited by their human perception capabilities. The defensive systems don't seem able to sense magical energy. But given the sheer amount of fun in the atmosphere, the addition of a few servants shouldn't draw any notice. So as long as we don't have, say, a divine spirit class servant among our ranks, or they don't try to find us with something similar to a god's own eyes, we should be safe for... Mr. Holmes? As I was saying, something similar to a god's own eyes could, could be able to detect the bounded field itself. A god in this case, referring to any being that surpasses our common understanding of magecraft and heroic spirits. In other words, something from here, in this lost belt, created in this lost belt alone, perhaps? In other words, to a god, or a being roughly on par with one, we would appear to be a totally out in the open. Yeah. An enormous magical energy reading is heading our way. 30 meters. 20. 10. It's coming from the other side of the alley. That's big. That's big indeed. It was humanoid. It was definitely shaped like a human. But it was much too big to be one. It resembled nothing so much as a giant. The sound of metal scrapping together pierced the air. The air. That is huge. Intruders detected. Initiating elimination. It was a bronze giant. Well then... That was chapter 2. Root of eternity, yeah? Okay. The second half. Fighting right at the bat with a berserker. Okay, what's this? Yeah, okay. Mm, okay. You can only pick Mushashi's support, as uh, I can see. And this is Berserker, so let me pick uh, at least one foreigner in the back. Oh, or both of them, I, um, I guess. Both Hokusai and Double X, I guess. To have them in the back in the meantime. Okay. Let's do this. Let's fight the big guy. Intruders detected. Initiating elimination. A bronze giant. According to myth, it is a monster. Now I see. It must have incorporated layers from the island of Rhodes, so the gods themselves must have minted this bronze giant. And now in Olympus, they've no doubt deployed it as an automatic defensive system for the purpose of eliminating intruders. Its magical energy readings are too high for my sensors to measure. This output is on par with a divine spirit, and its magical energy type is like any other kind of giant. A bronze giant, huh? I guess this means we really are in Greece. 
It doesn't look like place uh, will be much of use against there either. Or that is about to let us go without a fight. Brodak, mash. Now that it's found us, we got no choice but to send this hard haired pack in. Got it. Resin ordering next output. Engage in combat mode. All functions are fine tuned and working properly. Spirit origin awakening rate is well within standard parameters. Here goes nothing. I've fought and trained in all sorts of different worlds. I've lost track of how many monsters I've cut down. I'm sure I've never fought a great bronze giant before. But now as good a time as I need to see if I can cut through it. Now, how about you? Alright, let's fight this thing. <coughs> Fatal battle. Talos. Talos? Talos? Ah, I'm just going to stay with Talos. Okay, home support. Let's do this fast before he runs out with the defense down. Oh, I uh, should have said that, but uh, we cannot do that. Hmm. I say that, but uh, I cannot get this Musashi and be ready right now. Oh, and that was a crit. Work right there. Well then, there goes Musashi. Right off the bat. Great. Anything else? I'm just going to put this. Okay, okay. Let's get... Double X and P then. There goes Helena. Okay. Now Hokusai is on the field. Let's see. I want to get double X ready before using any of her skills yet. But okay. Yeah, I can do this. I can get this prepared. Okay. Okay. More than ready. There goes Mash. These hurts. And hopes on the field. Okay. I'm going to do this to get this more stars. Mm, okay. And this to heal a bit. A little bit. And now... We do this. This should do some damage, right? If this first I need to retry this. They create like on turn one. Really caught me a bit of guard, not gonna lie. Not okay. Well, s we might need to retry this if we die. Okay, halfway.
Okay. Well then, we're dead. We are done for. Great. Well, that was our first attempt, <laughs> I guess. We tried. I may ne I need to retry this better. But hey, at least we are like. At least we leave it. On less than half of it. Let's withdraw. I don't want to use the command spells for this. Yet. I don't want to use the command spells yet. <coughs> we need to go with Moshashi. Forced. Okay. Let me try this again with this setup. If this doesn't work either, we, I might need to change a little bit the backline. I meant to change some servants up. If anything, I just need to survive the first turn <laughs> with Musashi, at least. At least with Musashi, I need to survive this. Okay. Okay. Okay, MP ready. Good. Very good. Okay. Brave chain. Wish we could have uh, another extra buster car to do a buster brave, but uh, okay. Make sure he deals on decent damage. Okay, that's better. We got some decent damage before we get to the back line. So that's good. There goes Blavatsky. Another. One HP with Musashi. Jesus. I don't think I it would be a good idea to even heal anyway. <coughs> uh, okay, let me just take this and stars. So she now has the crit up. Let me use this just in case. Not sure if we will actually land the crit, but... You don't know with this. Okay, good. There goes Mash and Musashi. Good job, though. We got some very good damage. Okay. Now I need to remember, I cannot remember how much NP does she get on level 6. I think it's 30? No. Less than 30. Close to it. It got close. I just couldn't remember. Oh well. I will heal and I will keep these for next turn. Don't have anything on Kokusai. But okay, yeah. 
We're going with this. But uh, I think we can do this second try. Okay, we're good. We are good. Okay, I'm going to use this to get some more stars. Um, okay. We're going like this. Let's do this. This should this should this should be fine. I think. Hopefully. This should do it, right? Okay, I didn't grip out of well. I will take this. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We got this. We're fine. We are fine. With this. I think this should do it. Yep. Yep, even with a grid. There we go. We got it on a second try, not bad, not bad. Oh, it has a guts. <laughs> Completely forgot, but it's okay. I, I, we can do it with another. Forgot about the guts, but it's okay. We can uh, kill it before it does anything, right? I hope that's only once, though. I hope it's only once, though. I really do. No, okay, there we go, it's just once. Good. We did it on a second try. Thank God. Oh boy. Okay. <coughs> Let me see. Auto two. Great. We need to fight another one of these things. Mm, okay, this time with a break bar, with a bar to break. Great, perfect, wonderful. I'm not sure how well will this go. Maria still has with the guts. Hmm. Okay, let's just try. Let's just try. Musashi, nice cover there, Mash. Okay, you handle defense. I'm going to try an all or nothing full power five strike combo there in on his right arm. Amazing! She made a crack in his arm with a combo using the flat side of her swords. And actually managed to completely sever his right arm? The bronze age's magical energy readings are finished and fading rapidly. If you can gun him with one strike, keep hitting him until you can. Split it up just like old man Jayu's stone lantern. I see. I have to remember that one. No problem. This sword 
things a piece of um hmm? something doesn't feel right it's almost as if this battle is still isn't over what is it mash get ready for battle again understood master The Yellow Sever are right armies reattaching itself. It's been completely restored, and the Bronze Giant's magical energy readings are rising back to unknown levels. A self restoration mechanism. While I would be truly fascinated to learn more about how it works. Well, damn, this is exactly what I hate about fighting things that don't bleed. Hi, you guys holding up? You ready for round two with this thing? I'm ready. How about you, Brodak? I'm still good to go. Now that's what I like to hear. Thanks for getting me fired up. Unfortunately, there's no way we can take this thing down without attracting more soldiers. So let's find some way to do that as fast as we possibly can. Whatever it takes, and beat a hasty retreat. Okay. Oh, shut up. I wasn't talking to you. Alright, big guy. Get ready. This time I'm taking your head right off. Well, they're fighting this thing again. Not sure how well we go with this one. Mm. <laughs> Okay, learning ability. Gain resistance against all attacks and increased defense. Hmm. I see. Uh, let me at least survive, please. Just in case. Okay. Yeah. Not a lot of damage <coughs> from that alone. Okay. Okay, let's see with this. This is without the mystical buff, mind you. But this is still not a lot of damage. Hmm. I really do I need to beat this thing entirely. Hmm. Seems like it. Doesn't tell me that I need to re uh, like hold on for some turns or break the first bar or something. I need to survive this. I need to survive this raid. Mm. I need to beat this thing. Great. Let go smash. Okay. <coughs> okay. Let's try this. No, well.
Okay. Mm. Let me put up animation for Holmes. Just for this round. Okay, nice with the crits. Not bad. Okay. Uh, we're going to hold on with her and be just yet for now. I want to break the bar first if I can. And I can with the crit. Body heating up. Ow. Now we got burns. And another one. Please stop it. There we go. Well then. Mm, okay. At least we broke the bar, that's something. That's something at least. We broke the bar. Not sure how well will this go with this. Halfway, but uh, not great. She's dead. And hope she's dead. Whoa, one bar and a half. That's something. Uh, let me have a look first on the other arrows. Mm. Well, there's another battle after this, but uh, doesn't seem that we need to. Seems that we need to also defeat the enemies in that next round. Ah. Uh, Okay. Okay. <coughs> mm, I think I'm going to stop it here for now. I'm going to try tomorrow. We're going to try it again tomorrow. I kinda also want to rest my throat a little bit after so much reading and speaking and talking. So yeah. I will think of a better strategy probably for the for the Stalos fight. Probably. I will figure out what to do. But for now, we're going to stop it here. We're going to continue tomorrow. As I said. And yeah, that is it. Hope you enjoy the beginning of this Lost Belt. We'll continue again from where we left off, which is the Talos fight on chapter 3. Tomorrow, 4 pm GMT plus 2 time. You know the time, you can always check it up online eh, eh, for your time zone. You know that. You know the drill. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And we'll try this fight again, I swear. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm,